Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angela 333. Hope everyone is doing well. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Messages from Spirit and your angels. Please know that this reading can be about any area of your life. So just really listen to the messages, listen to your thoughts, your feelings, and you and your intuition, and you will know how the messages resonate with you. Uh, also, everything you need to know is in the description box. I do have two new links below. One is to my tarot card shop if you'd like to buy some tarot cards. Also, another link for personal readings uh, for spiritual advisors. I am not doing personal readings at this time, but there are some people... Uh, if you click on that link that are available for personal readings and then also I am giving away one free personal reading each month if you'd like to enter you just need to be a subscriber like the video and leave a comment I will announce the winner the first week of every month so good luck and let's get started here with your reading all right Pisces let's see what the energy is here for Pisces we're gonna pull uh, a couple cards here from the Archangel Power Tarot deck. What's the energy here for Pisces? Okay, so we have the Knight of Raphael. We have committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Interesting, all right? Definitely some sort of love message or loving energy coming towards you. Let's see what else we have. We also have, oh boy, <laughs> look at this. We have the Knight of Gabrielle. Time to take action. Great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. Okay, so a couple things here, uh, Pisces. There's two energies here. I'm just going to say if you're dating, there could be, you know, two uh, people in your life here. One could be a fire sign. One could be a water sign. Uh, also, just can be here too. Um, I'm going to say that there is an energy of, of feeling very passionate. So you may feel more motivated, more excited this week. There may be some sort of new endeavor um, that you feel really good about, confident about. Uh, but some of you, this is definitely going to be about love. It could also be one person, right? With both of those traits, right? Passionate and loving traits. So let's see, uh, Pisces, what your tarot cards have to say. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do we have for Pisces? Now I'm going to say here too, this could be, as I said, like the love of something that you love to do, right? Some sort of new uh, idea, something that's that takes off pretty quickly, you feel motivated about, you feel confident about. But let's pull the energy here with your tarot cards. What can you show Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? All right. We got the Fool card. The King of Cups. We got the Five of Cups. We got the Death Rebirth card. We had the Five of Swords. We had the Moon card. Your energy there, Pisces. And we have the Ace of Swords. All right. So there's definitely an energy I feel here, Pisces. There is something new that's happening in your life. Um, some of you, it's a calling, okay? Some of you, it's a calling of maybe life purpose or something you're feeling really called to do here with the Fool card and the Death Rebirth card. This is also can be an energy where maybe there was something that happened in your life, right? And it can be something pretty, you know, significant, right? It can be break up in a relationship it can be divorce it can be right maybe a loss of a family member something very significant that changed the way that you looked at lot you look at life and some of you it may be right maybe there are things that you've always wanted to do you know things in your early childhood this can be that energy too here where you start to live life in a different way going forward some of you right it can be an end of a relationship um, but it's going to be different for everyone. You got the King of Cups here and you have the Five of Swords. I feel there's some sort of uh, conflict emotionally that you may be feeling. Now, some of you, like I said, there could be two energies here if you're dating. Maybe you're conflicted emotionally, right, which is the best energy for you. Um, in this deck, I see this Five of Swords as, um, it, with your cards here, I see this as 
you're conflicted, right? You know something needs to change, um, but your emotions, I feel here too, could be holding you back. Um, or, you know, you just don't know what to do here, okay? You may have been through something very, um, you know, heartbreaking here is what I get, even though we don't have the Three of Swords. You have the Five of Cups and you have the Moon card, right? So there's an energy, there's something emotional here that I feel that you may be going through, Pisces, and I feel there's some sort of disappointment or sadness here. We're going to pull some more cards. We're going to see what else shows up. But look at this. You have the Ace of Swords. And for me, this Ace of Swords is almost like you have that idea or you have that epiphany. Um, and that's going to help you with this change that is going on in your life. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some um, cards here from the Kipper deck. We're going to see what other energies we get here in relation to your tarot cards. What else can we show Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know? All right. Oh, boy. Look at that. Yeah, marriage. <laughs> okay. So interesting. Some of you could have just come out of a divorce or a marriage. Some of you, I feel here too, this could be a transformation in your life where maybe you're having to choose, right, uh, between two people. And maybe you're wanting marriage or you're wanting commitment, okay? And I'm just going to say, some of you could even be in a marriage and, right, there's a, a pass-through energy that's coming in and, you know, maybe feeling like you're going to have to make some decisions here, okay? Some of you could be moving towards a relationship, a new relationship. So let's see what else comes out, All right? So with that number three, two, because um, I also read uh, numerology, I'm going to say with that number three it can be about ideas and concepts, um, the idea of a new relationship, okay, or wanting something more significant in love. So let's see what else we have. Okay, number 35, which is eight, which is pathway, okay? I feel here too with that number eight, there could be a power struggle, right, emotionally that you're having, but it's showing me here there's a new pathway, and it's a beautiful pathway. Look at that. It's a beautiful pathway. Doors are opening up for you. Now, I'm going to say for some of you, if this is around a passion or something that you love to do, Right, Some of you who may be in a relationship, maybe you're feeling like it's hard for you to take on right, some sort of new endeavor. Okay, Like I said, it's going to be different for everyone. So let's see what else we have here. There's definitely a new beginning. right? Spirit's trying to lead you on a new path from what I see here. Okay. Oh boy, look at that. Number 11, sudden wealth. Yeah, spirit is trying to lead you to your abundance here, right? And I feel like if you've been feeling disappointed or sad or conflicted here, look at this. You've got marriage, you have pathway, and you have sudden wealth. And I'm going to say here that there's an energy that you're being guided here. Some of you are being guided to a relationship that could definitely lead to marriage or something long term. Remember here with this Knight of Raphael, it says here, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Okay, so there's something here that is, is happening in your life, I feel, that's going to make you excited, going to make you motivated again, feel passionate again. There's definitely some sort of abundance that's coming towards you. And look what we have on the bottom of the deck. We have number 14, which is message of concern, okay? And that's that energy here of um, what I always see this card is sometimes it can be something concerning, a message coming towards you, but it's almost a message that comes through that you kind of take a step back and it makes your heart flutter. And that's what I, what I get here. So... I'm going to say here, if you're dealing with two people or, you know, there's a person on your mind, um, I feel like there could be a pa really passionate energy, you know, if this is love for you and others with the Knight of Raphael, I feel like this could be a new person coming into your life. All right. So I feel like you could be conflicted if there's a choice here or just the choice of a new path. 
uh, in love. And some of you, I feel like this could be, you know, a new beginning here of maybe something that you're passionate about. As a result, that something significant happened in your life and, you know, there was an end of something is what I'm seeing. So let's uh, pull some guidance cards here from the Animal Oracle Spirit or Spirit Animal Oracle deck. <laughs> All right, let's see what the messages are here for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Look at that. The skunk spirit, number 54, which is nine. Know your worth. Okay, so someone may not have been valuing you, whether it was in a job, right? Um, could be related to a specific ending here or whether this was a relationship or somebody here that you were dating. Let's see what else we have. You have the ant spirit, time to collaborate. We have another number one. Uh, we have number 54, which is nine. So definitely I feel there's an end of a cycle here and then the number one here, a new beginning, okay? So there could be more than one person involved here in your situation. Time to network, too, can be a, a message there if you know this is around career, money, Okay, so you may be networking with people upcoming here, maybe dating new people. And look at that. We have the cat spirit. Claim your independence, number 13, which is four. So I feel like if you've been in a place where you haven't felt stable or you haven't felt, um, you know, you felt disappointed or even sadness there. There's an energy of uh, that's going to change here. Your energy is going to be very confident, I feel, here. Uh, you're going to get to a stable place. You're going to be networking or dating people here. There's an energy of getting to a place where you're not in this conflicted energy anymore and you're more in a very stable, positive energy. And look, you have number 39, which is 12, which is also 3. This is the Moss Spirit. This is Surrender Now. Okay, I think it says now. Yeah, surrender now. So this is having faith, letting go that everything's working out for your highest good. All right. So we're just going to pull um, a couple messages here from Archangel Michael to see what the guidance is here from Archangel Michael. Okay, look at that. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Okay, so trust your intuition is really what that card is saying. And let's pull another one. Okay, write about your thoughts and your feelings. So if you're feeling conflicted, as I said, if you're feeling conflicted emotionally about your situation, right? Write about your thoughts and your feelings. Reflect on them. You can also do, you know, the pros and the cons, All right? So Archangel Michael is saying here, right, listen to your intuition, and also, um, you know, if you're having a hard time making some sort of decision, write about it. Or it can be a release to write about it if you're feeling conflicted emotionally. All right. So Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.